What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt, and the Colts lose to the Lions in a pretty thrilling preseason game, 27-26. to I'm going to give my thoughts on this game in just a second, but before I do that, if you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack that like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. What are some things that stuck out to you in this game? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So, let's start off with what I liked about this game before we go to what I did not like about this game. So, for the most part, the quarterback play, I thought was pretty good. You know, Nick Foles, I thought, had a pretty good day today. He only had one incompletion. I thought Sam Ellinger looked the best out of all the quarterbacks. He continues to make it really difficult for the Colts' front office to just let him go. I think, personally, he's going to earn a uh, spot on the roster. He went 9 for 11, had 136 yards passing, had a really, really nice 50-yard bomb to Desmond Patman for a touchdown, and then he had an additional touchdown as well. And I even thought Jack Cohn had some pretty nice moments in this game. You know, he did struggle a little bit at the start, but he did have a really nice final drive that ended with a touchdown. Unfortunately, they did not get the two-point conversion, but it was a pretty nice drive, I would say, by Jack. Now, moving on to receivers, I thought Desmond Patman had a really good day today. Five catches for 103 yards and a touchdown. Look, man, he's been looking good this offseason. I think he's going to make the roster. He's probably going to be your receiver five, if I had to guess. I was really happy with him. And then with Mike Strawn, uh, he came back earlier this week because he was on the pup list. He's had a good camp since he's been back. And then today, I was really happy with his performance. Did a good job creating some separation. Three catches, 45 yards, and a touchdown. I think there's a good chance he's going to make the roster as well. It's going to be tough because he did miss a lot of time. But I do think there's a good chance that he could be your receiver six on this team. And then going to defense. Um, I thought Nick Cross had a nice play today. Um, that was really nice to see. Tony Brown made some plays today. I was really happy with what I saw from Tony Brown. Same thing with Sterling Weatherford. I thought, I thought he had a good game today as well. Um, I thought Dio Odengbo. He had a good game today, did some good stuff, getting some pressure on the quarterback. And then uh, Odingbo, um, it's going to be tough to say his name and Odingbo's name um, at the same time. But I thought he played really well today as well. Um, Dar uh, Dallas Flowers, um, I thought he did some good things as well. And then, of course, I thought Jake Faraday had a good day today. He made a 25-yard field goal, a 40-yard field goal, made both of his extra points, did not miss a kick at all today. So... Yeah, I, I liked what I saw from him. So now we're going to move on to the not so good. Starting with the offense, the run game was non-existent today. 30 yards total running the football. Unacceptable. I get it. Jonathan Taylor, Naheem Hines, they didn't play today. If they did, those numbers would definitely be a lot higher. However, you still got to do well running the football. Okay, uh, Price had the best day running the football, averaged 2.2 yards per carry, had 13 yards total. Uh, Philip Lindsay had 8 yards, you know, on 4 carries. Yeah, it, it just was not good at all. So I was not happy with that. Also, our offensive line, not good today. Bernard Ryman, I felt like he improved as the game progressed, which is good. But our other depth pieces on this offensive line... Did not do a good job when it came to giving our running backs an opportunity to have more yards than what they got. And also the pass protection in this game was awful. Flat out awful throughout the entire game. It, it just was not good at all. I was not happy with it. Honestly, again, preseason, I'm still a little concerned for our depth on the offensive line. Yeah, I, yeah, it wasn't good. It was not good at all. So, All right, so now we're going to move on to the defense. Um, defensive line did not play well today. Um, there's a few guys that played pretty good. I mentioned them earlier. However, they had a really difficult time when it came to creating pressure and getting pressure on the quarterback, and they really struggled against the run today. Um, as far as the run goes, the Lions had 174 yards running. That That's just not great. Um, they, you know, the defensive line was getting bullied 
by the Lions offensive line. And there were multiple opportunities for the Lions where they had big runs. So I was really not happy with the defensive line's performance. That definitely made me pretty upset. And then also secondary, I thought there was a few guys that played pretty good today. But yeah, the Lions, they did pretty well in the past game. You know, there were guys wide open. They didn't have like big numbers, but still, there's just guys getting open. Um, it felt like the secondary was playing pretty soft today. So I was not happy with that at all. So again, Lions, they went in a close one, 27 to 26. There were some good things for the Colts in this game. However, there were also some not so good things for the Colts today. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Let me know your thoughts down below. What were some things that stuck out to you in this game? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There's a link in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt, Bleed Blue, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.